I think the, the, the version of uh, the Arthurian law that we all are accustomed to is uh, you know, the ones we've seen in movies, the one we've read uh, you know, through La Mort d'Arthur, the most famous of the works that basically depicted Arthur, Galahad and all the knights of the round table. What we did is that we went back a little bit further and went to the, the source of all of those legends. And the source came from a Welsh tale, you know, from Welsh uh, legends, and spin it the way we wanted to. All of that was, uh, was a way to instill not only the names but a little bit of the legend of, of Arthur into our characters. This Order of Knights w was a direct result of this war that was going on. It wasn't the lore as you know it. The half-breeds are really a subspecies of what humanity becomes after a few centuries of you know, evolving in a different direction. And there we find this struggle going on for supremacy, for survival, and it's only after the Industrial Revolution, after the change in you know, the way they built weapons and all that, that finally humanity takes over and they finally have the upper hand in this war and push back against the half-breeds. The IP really existed as a world, as a big, like, you know, big story and a big arc. When we brought it to life through this game, we wanted to find out a good place to actually set uh, this game, how, find, a, find a setting not only history, but also a setting geographically in the world. London was the perfect place. London was this mix of everything that was happening post-industrial revolution. We wanted to depict London the way people knew London. But at the same time, when you look at that skyline, give it a twist by having those watchtowers up you know, uh, in the skyline or having airships in the sky. At the same time as people would believe our London, they would also question it by seeing those, uh, that imagery. When approaching the PS4, we have to try and maximize everything we can out of it. But also we're trying to maximize it without taking the player experience away from you know, the player. Ultimately, you could do a lot of different things with a lot of you know, hardware, the hardware that's there, design-wise, input-wise. But for us, it was always important that the player didn't feel detached every time they did something like that. What feels natural? If it takes you away from the experience, we usually shy away from it. Of course, approaching an excellent title, everybody has the dr uh, dreams of what they want to do with it. We've talked about film, the filmic aspect of the game. We've showed it with the, uh, the trailer. That was, uh, that was our way of telling the world and the players like, hey, here's our vision of next gen. Here's our vision of what the order is going to be and here's our vision of what PS4 is going to basically be able to do. And we can't get, uh, wait for the players to play this. PlayStation.